Show me a white male in front of Dick's Sporting Goods. How are you? Hey. Hey, uh. If you don't mind me asking, where'd you just come from? Yeah, I'm over. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, 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 Jeanette will call you back. Police will pull me over right there. I'll call you back. I'll call you back. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Where'd you, where'd you come from? I'm just walking. Okay, okay. The reason I'm asking is we have the description. We just have some shoplifters yeah. and your description. And I'm just happy to say where you came from. That's all. Yeah. Okay. What, what are they saying? I mean, what's my description? White shirt, white hat. White shirt, white hat, so, but uh, I was just saying where you were coming from. Yeah, I'm just walking. Side. Well, good luck with it. I'll take good luck. What's your name? Uh, What's your name? I'm not going to get my name. Good luck. Why is that? Huh? Why is that? Because I'm, I'm walking. Going. I'm well known in this town. And I mean, I don't know you if you're well known. I don't, I don't know who you are. 306 I'm going to walk around and I'm going to come back around again. Well, I need, I need your name real quick. Uh, we already called it Christian Clifton, uh, Corinth, I think, Cardinal, you know, history. Uh, I'm going to try to sir. I'm going to try to find you. Alright, I think this is the number you got. I just, ID all right. Dude, I mean, what's your name? What do you go by? Okay, I'm, I'm going to tell you, I am going to name the chief of deer about this, but my name is Wesley. Wesley? Yeah, and I'm going to call the mayor. Okay. And, uh, 13, 10, 45. 45. Yeah, look, 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 Here, here's the deal. All right, so we had a description, and you were familiar with that description. So you look, so, so white hat, white shirt. Jeff Snyder is a good friend of mine. Okay. Um, I'm not, I'm walking. I'm not kind of in a hurry. Though, know, so I get back. I'm on deadline. You're on what? Deadline. A deadline? Yeah, I'm thinking about Channel 5. Okay. GMC Key 5. Don't come here and put your hand on it. Who's good is gone? Sir, don't come close to me, though. Here. I'm, I'm COVID aware. No, please don't come close to me. Especially without a mask. You can go over there and put your hands on the car right now. I'm not going to you again. Okay. See if we get GMC Key 5. Do you have any key files on you? Key files. Do you have anything in your pockets? Yeah, my phone. Your phone? Sir, Do, do you have anything in your pockets? My phone, sir, please. Do you have anything that. else in your pockets besides key. your phone? Phone and key, Okay, sir, do you have a key file? Do what? You got a GMC key file on you? A GMC. A key file a to key GMC. Fob. Car keys to a GMC. No. You don't. All no, right. but sir, please. Back I'm a diabetic. Here, I'm a, I'm on a mask. Okay. Okay. So you're up to here. Okay, stay put. Mayor, I'm, I'm just going to pat you down for down weapons, okay? Place, I'm going to call Jeff and the mayor. And I don't appreciate this guy. Hey, uh, go, go ahead and cuff him. And you're going to cuff him? Yeah, here, here. We're going to run him over the lot. Uh, you're being detained right now? You think you're over the uh, loss prevention to see if he's got Hey, put your hands like you're praying, okay? Put, 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 yeah. Put, 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 like you're okay. praying. Like this. Can you get, I don't want to go inside. Can you get lost in this over here or whatever? Exactly. Call Jeff Snyder. Call Jeff, the guy who wants the mall. He's a close friend of mine. We're going to get down there and they're going to check you out. We're going to figure out who you are there. since you don't want to tell us who you are. I told you who I was. Who are you? My name is Wesley. Wesley who? Well. West, West now, Hill. see, you, told, no, you told me I your first name. I told you my name was Wesley, but why do I tell you my name? I mean, I'm out here walking. I mean, that's fine. The reason we're out for you is because you, you matched the description of a but shop. I from told you, but I'm not a shop. And you're on my property. That's why I'm going to tell you to make sure we're going to clear you, okay? And since you're being uncooperative, not almost giving you an idea. Sir, I was more than cooperative. And you, this is what this is right there. I'll, 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 I'll,
Here, you're not being arrested, you're being detained. You're locked in the back of my vehicle, okay? Sir, I mean, I'm a diabetic. I've been doing all What's diabetic have to do with getting on the back of my I'm vehicle? I'm afraid of COVID. And I don't know who's been in here. Wow. Here. Like I said, you're not being arrested, okay? Same thing to me. Okay. I'm gonna put the seat belt around for safety, okay? So lean back. How you doing, sir? Hey, sir, no, sir, 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 please. Yeah, I'm not required to. I don't have to. So, look, I'm Sergeant Oates. You want to do You have one on? That's what I'm asking. Get Kim to ID. Just, real quick, real quick. Get to ID. Let's stop for a second. I'm not required to. It's not standing up. So, it's what it is. What you put in there, Dave? I don't really know shit what you think. What we need to do is ID. Yeah. There was a couple of shots. Well, we're not, you're not going to hit it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then we are going to get your name and information. We are going to run and check you. You are going to provide who you are. That is going to happen. You can be real clear about that. That's the way it goes. That's the way it happens. No, you're not in any other state. You're here in Tupelo, Mississippi today. We are going to identify you. And that's going to happen. He does have park keys in his pocket. Can I go back and look at my video? I, think it's I can go look at my video. Can you please call Jeff Snyder, the guy who owns the manager here? Let me just tell you something. I, I didn't do anything. Go ahead and uh, check your video and see if. She said she thought it was him. Yeah, she said she, she thought it was him. Yeah. How does he know Jeff Snyder? Oh, yeah. You got my freaking camera central in the dog.
She's coming down somewhat. Are they coming in? I guess Hudson is, isn't it? Why didn't he want to give his name at first? He said he didn't have to identify himself. He said, have a good day. No, nah, Hoss, you were suspecting a crime right now. Until you're proving that you're not that, it's what it is. Hi, uh, folks. I, um, I was going to go live, but um, I decided to just record and share um, my experience tonight. I'm, be honest with you, I'm shaken and at a loss for words. Um, the way I was uh, treated by the uh, Tupelo Police Department tonight, and I've, you know, just uh, call myself being a good citizen of this town, doing what I can to promote the town, making it the best place it can be. But I was taking an innocent walk this evening and uh, got pulled over. Guy, yeah, one of the first policemen came up to me and asked me, uh, you know, where was I going? And I told him I'm just out walking. And uh, I'm walking out here at the mall, the perimeter of the mall. And uh, he asked me my name. I told him my name. And uh, he said, you got any ID? I said, no, I'm walking. My name is Wesley. And uh, I'm kind of in a hurry, if you don't mind me going on. And he said, well, there was an incident back at the mall back here. And uh, we just che we're checking to make sure it's not you. And I said, no, it's not me. And uh, but. Uh, the guy, you know, the general manager of the mall, you know, he knows me. So is if you want to call him, he's a good friend of mine, if you want to call him. And uh, but no, it's not me. But I wish you luck and whoever you're trying to find and be safe. And uh, just then another police car pulled up and he said, wait a minute. Another police car pulled up and the guy got out and said, hey, get up against the car. And I said, excuse me. He said, get up against the car and put your hands behind your back. And uh, he goes on to say, now, who are you? I said, I told him my name and what I'm doing out here. And he's, you know, just rude and say, well, you, you don't tell us what to do. You don't tell us what to ask. I mean, just strictly just rude. And I had been as cordial as you can. And he told me, put my hands behind the back, cuffed me. I mean, actually put handcuffs on me. And they threw him in the back of the police car. And I asked him, uh, sir, can you put on a mask? I, I had mine on and I'm afraid of COVID and I've been trying to be careful. And he said, I don't have to wear a mask and you don't ask me to put mine on. You've got one on, so it shouldn't make a difference. I said, yes, sir, it does. I would feel a lot more comfortable if you did. Just sit back here in the back of this car and be quiet. And uh, I asked, I said, well, just cut. It's not whoever you're looking for. It's not me. Just call the mall manager. He's a good friend of mine. He'll tell you who I am. I don't give a damn who you know. Sit there and be quiet. I mean, and the conversation, they, you know, some of the things they were saying just, I mean, I'm going to be honest, just robbed me of every strict, I mean, just robbed me of my dignity. I, I, I'm I, shocked that something like this happened and uh, which I should be ashamed of because I could know better. I should know better. But the way I was treated tonight make me feel much less than a man. I I mean, if they're going around treating citizens like this, there need to be some changes immediately. And I, I'm sorry, I can't let this go. I mean, I was just robbed of every little piece of dignity I had tonight. And I did absolutely nothing wrong. I was respectful and cordial towards them. But if they're treating citizens of this town like that, there need to be some changes. I, I mean, I'm just hurt. And I'm truly offended the way I was treated tonight. And for not doing a thing, but outside taking an innocent walk. And, uh, but I get, they finally gave me their names after everything was over with, left me handcuffed in the car for 15 minutes. And, uh, with the tight handcuffs on, I got the markings to, sh uh, to prove that, uh, I, there just need to be some changes here. If those guys are going around policing this town, I I'm afraid for the citizens of this town, especially citizens of color. Because somebody who was cordial and nice as I was in response to them mistreating me, I could imagine what they would do to somebody with just the least bit of resistance. And I know they're going to lie. I know that. I know they're going to lie and say they didn't do this and I did that, which is, be f which is, which is the farthest thing from the truth. And uh, But 
I was disrespected in ways tonight that I never would have imagined. And I'm hurt by it. I'm upset by it. And people, this has got to change. This has to change. This has to change. Thank you.